so hey guys this is dipesh and uh, in this particular video uh, we'll be implementing linear regression using python and uh, as i said earlier that in our previous lectures that it is very easy to implement these uh, machine learning algorithms but it, uh, uh, but it is very hard to basically understand them in, uh, in the first place okay so once you understand we already uh, this algorithms uh, implementing them is not very hard okay we already have a lot lot of uh, tools in uh, python and uh, other programming languages as well okay so mostly in python in order to implement machine learning algorithms we use uh, the sklearn uh, library all right so we'll use the same and we'll implement linear regression uh, model here so i have opened my uh, jupyter notebook here if you don't know what jupyter notebook is you, it's very easy uh, just uh, go and do a quick google search uh, and you will find out what it is and how to install uh, all, all of this okay it's very easy it's uh, there is no, not not where it's not something very extraordinary the only main advantage is that we can write our write and execute our code in this cells okay so it it becomes very uh, easy to display the output for our program okay so first uh, so what we'll do here is we'll try to predict the salary given the given the years of experience okay so basically it's a we'll use simple linear regression here all right and i will i have downloaded a data set uh, i've already downloaded a test data set uh, to use for us okay so don't worry uh, uh, we you will get all the code and uh, you will also get all the uh, data that i'll be using here uh, so that if even if you don't get it here, you can uh, download the code and try it on your uh, and play around on your system. Okay, so first let's import some libraries. So first import, let's import NumPy and let's import pandas. Let's uh, also import import matplotlib because we will be uh, plotting a uh, scatter plot. Okay. And uh, from sklearn, we will basically import uh, the tra the train test split method, and we'll also import the linear regression uh, model. Okay, so yeah, basically the train test split method will help us uh, split our data after uh, uh, after data cleaning and all. Okay, and the linear regression method, uh, uh, this linear regression method will basically help us implement linear regression. Okay. Uh, let me just copy the path of my data set and I will then show you the exact data set. Okay, so my path would be my path would be this. Okay, this is the path of my data set and now let's read the data set okay so pd dot read csv and give it our path and let's display the first 10 values of our data set okay uh, pd is not defined okay we uh, i just forget to run the first cell so let's run it mm okay some minor mistakes let's run uh, run it again let's uh, give it some time okay so now you as you can see that we have two columns here first is years experience and the second is salary okay so years experience would be our x okay our independent variable and salary would be our y okay so let's create our x and y variable here okay so x would be df and then what is it years experience okay years experience let's print x now okay as you can see we have got the uh or got all the years experience values in you know x variable now also get uh get the salary data and let's print that 
okay now you can see we have got all the uh, salary data here now the first thing that we should do is basically we should uh, see what what is the correlation among uh, these two variables okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, create a scatter plot so plt dot scatter and we'll pass this x and y and uh, let, let's do plt dot show okay so as you can see here we have got this scatter plot and we can clearly see the uh, correlation here basically the as the let me also label them okay so uh, we can easily read them okay let me run this again okay all right now you can clearly see that as the experience increases the salary increases so there is basically a uh, there is basically a positive correlation here so we can easily create a uh, line of best fit uh, uh, in in the middle of this data set all right so let's uh, implement uh, now basically let's split our data okay uh, data splitting all right now let's all right uh let's uh, use the train test split method that we have imported here this if we have before we'll use this method to split our data set all right so what this method returns is basically it returns x train x test y train and y test all right and all it takes is our x and y and it will take what is the percentage of uh, the test data set okay so here we want the percent uh, test data set size to be 30 percent okay so we'll give it 0 0.3 so it will uh, use it will basically take 30 percent of of the data set uh, for testing and uh, uh, keep 70 percent of the data set for training but let's uh, let's confirm this by printing the length of okay let's confirm it by printing the length of uh, x train and uh, x test okay so as you can see the length of uh, uh, so we have basically total 30 samples okay as you can see here we have in total 30 samples so out of 30 basically we use we the views we told uh, the function that we want 30 percent to be used as test data set so if you see the length of uh, x test it's uh, its uh, length is basically 9 which is exactly what we uh, wanted okay the 30 percent and the 70 percent is used for training so that's why we got 21 uh, samples for training now this data set set is very very small okay in real life cases you you will get like thousands or even millions of uh, samples so also as a beginner this is just uh, uh, just uh, uh, a stepping stone for you as you go as we go uh, into more detail uh, in our future videos i will try to bring in a more, more bigger uh, data sets okay okay now we have split our data set now let's uh, create uh, now let's uh, train our uh, linear regression model so what i will do is model is equal to linear regression and what i will do is i will give do model dot fit and i'll pass my x train and y train here so when i say fit it basically it basically trains the model okay I trains the model and basically it learns uh, the necessary parameters. So 
so let's run it so what is it saying I expected 2d array got 1d array mm, all right so since we have one uh, since we have only one feature i think we would have to, we will need to uh, reshape this feature so let's do re, let's reshape our x uh, numpy dot array and uh, dot reshape minus one one all right now let's run it again Okay, now our model is a train. Now what we can do is we can basically uh, predict the uh, predict make predictions using this model. So all we have to do is just say model dot predict and give it our x value. So let's say you want to predict the salary of a person with the experience of eight years. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll capture this value in i and uh, we'll print i. All right. Also, don't forget to uh, uh, give the value in uh, uh, in a two D uh, in inside a two D array. All right, because uh, the predict function takes multiple values. Okay, but we are only giving it uh, uh, one value. That's why. So as you can see here, uh, we got the output as uh, one uh, one hundred and three thousand. All right which is uh, pretty pretty good because uh, uh, we know that as the experience increases the salary also increases so let's try giving a lower a lower experience so let's give it four now the uh, predicted values for salary should be lower so yeah as you can see the salaries uh, decreased to 64000 right so this is how we basically make predictions now how, now how do we evaluate our model Okay, now we know that our model can make accurate uh, prediction, but how accurate can it uh, can it be? So let's evaluate our model. So we'll evaluate our model using the testing data set. You know, we uh, split our data into a train set and test test set. Now we'll use the test set uh, in order to evaluate our model. Now the test set is basically data that the model has never seen. Okay. Uh, because during training we used only the x tra uh, we used only a training set the model has never seen x uh, our testing data set so we'll see how uh, the model uh, perform what uh, what accuracy do we get uh, when the model tries to tries to predict uh, unknown data all right so let's do it what we'll do is we'll do model dot score and uh, we'll pass it our x test and our y test and let's print the accuracy okay so here you can see our accuracy is 93 percent 0 0.9393 means 93 percent which is pretty good but it's also pretty obvious because our data set was not that big you know we had only uh, 30 samples right in uh, uh, whenever you are dealing with in real world cases you will get very big data sets uh, you know like thousands or even millions of uh, samples so in that case it becomes very harder uh, hard to uh, get uh, this kind of accuracy so that was it uh, with this is how we basically use uh, we implement simple linear regression you can go ahead and implement uh, uh, other various uh, algorithms in our upcoming uh, uh, lectures we i will try to cover as many uh, algorithms as possible